All right, back out in the garage again tonight. Um, tonight I'm working on a LED upgrade for the 1985 Suzuki 230S. Um, that's the original incandescent right here. You know, it's the old original filament type, and obviously that's blown. That's the new LED, and uh, that's the part number. That fits the 230S and the 230E, and I'm assuming that it fits other quads of that era uh, that have that style base. Um, but I'm not, not certain about that, so look up your specific model if you decide to do one of these. Um, we're going to give this a, a true test. I'm going to um, test that. Um, I have an original bulb like this, uh, an old one that I have that's still good. So uh, I'm going to put that in first, and uh, I'm actually, once it gets dark out, we're probably about a half an hour away from it being dark out here in upstate New York. Uh, and I'm actually going to use this light meter to measure the, the light level of the original one and then of course we're going to put the LED in and then we're going to measure it again with this light meter and uh, that'll tell us how much it improved uh, if at all I'm assuming it's going to and uh, so we're going to put it to the test okay uh, it's uh, dusk out right now it's not quite uh, dark dark but it's uh, dark enough to do the test um, you can see the reading on here right now is uh, zero foot candles. That's what the FC is for. Um, it is 72.4 degrees out, not that that matters. Uh, but I'm gonna go over to the quad. Uh, it's a little loud because I turned the idle up a little bit. So, um, you know, the light will be as bright as it can possibly be for this test. I don't want to flash the video camera over towards the reader right now because I don't want to affect the reading, but I'm getting about 21 foot candles at about three foot away. Uh, it's going between 18 and 21. Uh, so I'm going to change the bulb out to the LED and we'll see if we get an improvement. All right, we got the LED in. Um, of course, it decided to start raining out, but. Um, I could tell right from the get-go, it's definitely a lot brighter. Um, that flickering's not the light, that's actually my camera, but uh, what a difference just by eye. Okay, yeah, so I'm getting right around 30 foot candles. Um, so we went from roughly 18 to 20, uh, and it was just bouncing around 30 to 32. Um, so quite an improvement. Uh, it's a much crisper white light. Um, maybe a little bit of a blue light, but uh, definitely, definitely better than the original for sure. And it's pretty dark out now. Yeah, so definitely an improvement. I'm happy with it. All right, uh, to wrap this up, um, basically uh, I'm happy with it. Uh, like I said, you can pretty much see by eye that it's a lot brighter. Um, it's a much more bluish uh, white light rather than like an orange light with the old incandescent. Um, and it jumped up about uh, 10 foot candles. I was getting between 18 and 20, and then I was getting between uh, 30 and 32 uh, with the new LED. So, um, so far so good. Uh, how long will it last? Uh, we'll hold up out on the trails. Uh, we'll find out. Um, if somebody wants to change this bulb on a 230S, uh, if you haven't done it before, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, but um, there's a small screw on each side that takes the chrome trim ring off, and then there's a, a smaller screw on each side that uh, actually takes out the, uh, the plastic uh, headlight lens. And then uh, you twist the old one out, twist the new one in, and put it back together. It's pretty straightforward. So uh, that's it for tonight. Quick video. Um, but uh, click and subscribe. Uh, hit the bell for future videos. Uh, I'm going to be doing one hopefully in the next few days, uh, maybe this weekend. I think today's Tuesday. So probably another four or five days I'll have a video out on uh, this uh, novice or novice. I call it novice. Um, to shine up the the plastics. I've used it in the past several times um, 
you got the heavy scratch remover, and then you do the fine scratch remover, and then you got the plastic uh, clean and shine. Um, and it does a pretty good job. Um, I mean, it's not going to bring back, uh, you know, plastics that are, you know, faded, you know, beyond repair. But um, something like this, uh, you know, these plastics are in good shape. That's off one of the 230Es. Um, you know, it does a pretty good job. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a video on that and uh, going to do like a side-by-side. -side. I'll tape off an area and uh, do the one side uh, with the novice and uh, we'll compare it and see what you think.